everyone, welcome back to the range. It wouldn't be a day on the range without some armor slaying. Got a special treat today. We have RMA Armaments Model 1155 plate. This is their NIJ06 certified level four plate. Budget friendly. It is only single curve and weighs about eight pounds, but it's pretty tough. We've tested this against a lot of threats in the past, but we've never tested it against 50 BMG. What I have today is some standard M33 ball. I also have some M2 AP and some tracer and armor piercing incendiary tracer that we may get a chance to use depending on how the ball reacts today. We're going to set our target up at approximately 100 yards down range for safety. We've done 50 yards before. So we're going to use our clay briefcase that we always use today. This is a 14 by 14 giant briefcase filled with a non-hardening clay. It's a little on the soft or a little on the hard side because it's only about 70 degrees outside today, but it should give us a good representation if it does stop it. Our firearm for choice today is our Armalite AR-50. This thing's got a huge three-port muzzle brake on it. It has a 30-inch barrel. It is single shot. We've got a old Springfield Armory 6 to 20 power scope on there. Should be pretty good for our test. As mentioned, we're going to use M33 ball for our test. This is a 630 grain to 650 grain or 660 depending on who manufactures it and what variances and tolerances you're allowed to have on bullet weight. I'll put a little thumbnail down here like I've been doing in my newer videos so you can see what the bullet profile looks like and in, in this case what the core looks like. We'll definitely measure hardness and annotate that down there as well. We have our Procono Digital set up at about 15 feet. It is reading, it's about 70 degrees outside today. We should get right around 25, 2600 feet per second from these loads from what we've been testing. Hopefully you can see the monitor down here. I figure that's a pretty easy way so you guys can see instant feedback on velocity. We set it up at about 75 yards because my hill dips down at the 100 yard marker so it would be, I don't have anything to prop my clay briefcase up with. Make sure our GoPro is recording. We're going to try to hit right dead center of the plate if possible. Velocity 2482. We'll run down there and we'll see what we did. Well, there's a hole right there on their logo. I did forget to mention that I drop tested this plate per the NIJ standards twice on its face before we shot this. I actually did it a long time ago and I've just had this plate this long. I only broke one of my rubber straps. If you guys donate to me on Patreon, it helps me buy these expensive rubber straps. You're like, quit talking and show us what it did. Let's show you the backside and we'll see if you have any guesses. I don't see any penetration so far. Uh, my board that I just replaced has already been broken. Let's see what we did. Oh, there is a penetration there. Well, I think that kind of answers our question. That thing is hot, it's melting the clay. But it didn't make it all the way through the clay. That's kind of interesting. There's the backside, though. 
It looks like it really had to work to penetrate that because that's not a clean hole there. I wonder what happens if we took it to 200 yards. I know our plate is compromised, but I'm curious that it did have the bullet going sideways before it penetrated. Will another 100 yards help us? I moved our clay briefcase out to our 200 yard berm. We should have a good shot on it from back here. This is the last M33 ball that I brought with me today. If this doesn't stop it, then maybe we'll have to try the 1189 plate from RMA. I know that one is a pretty badass plate. Twenty-five, sixty-nine, and I'm not sure if I hit my uh, armor plate or if I hit the clay briefcase. Well, I was a little low on that shot, right at the bottom half inch of the plate. Now this does have ceramic all the way to the edge of the plate as you can see there. It threw my board that I just put back on here, broke that off. I'll have to uh, fix that, throw that in the old uh, wheelbarrow for now. I guess we should stand this up and see how bad this is. <sighs> oh, there's a hole there. Almost looks like the 200-yard uh, shot was more effective. <sighs> right through that guy. It's interesting, though, that it's deforming it enough that it's... Well, that one looked like it punched clean through. Probably not necessarily a fair hit because we're that low on the plate. But again, <laughs> this is uh, 50 BMG. <laughs> Nothing in the purview of NIJ tests for that. There's our giant hole in the clay that I just cleaned up. <laughs> Push that there. So, we'll have to try a tougher plate. Another day, another couple of holes in some body armor. I would say our shot at 200 yards probably wasn't very fair because we're at the bottom like half inch of that plate. I don't think the results would have changed any if we moved it up here. I wanted to shoot up here anyways, but I peeled some of the protective foam away and I can see cracks all the way up here in the top of the plate, which is typically what happens with a monolithic strike face the first time you hit it, depending on how much energy you put into it, cracks start forming in the strike face throughout the plate. We do have the 50 BMG for a little longer. I do have some more ammunition types, some M2 AP, some armor piercing incendiary tracer, and some API that Denver Bullets sponsored for this test. Definitely thank them. I'll have to put a link in the description on Full30 and a couple of the other sites that don't get mad about linking to external sites that sell evil guns and ammunition. I'd also like to thank RMA Armament. They're always willing to provide us with armor plates to test so that if you guys have questions and you throw me a comment below about a particular round and its ability to either penetrate or be stopped by armor, we can test it so that way everybody has that information and you're not going to drop $100 on a plate to find out that it doesn't stop what you need it to stop for your threat profile.
I know quite a few have been asking about RMA's level 3 plus plates. We'll definitely have to get a pair of those for testing. Definitely not against the 50 BMG. We may have to ask them for the 1189 plate. I know they have a Gen 2 that they came out with that has a full strike face of ceramic. I think that was the one that I originally watched that actually stopped the 50 BMG at 100 yards. So we'll have to test that. As always, I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters. Leave any of those links in the description below because those are still kosher. And you all for watching. Until next time, catch you at the range.